Hi, I'm Mark Ryan, and today I'm going to go through the process of deploying the new open model from Google called Gemma in the context of Vertex AI. So we're here in Google Cloud in Vertex, and to get started, we're going to click on Model Garden. And in Model Garden, we can see that there's a card for Gemma. And we're going to click on View Details. And the first thing that comes up the first time that you try to use Gemma is you get the license agreement. Go through the license agreement. I've taken a look at it. Happy with it. And I will click on Accept. And I get to see the Gemma model card provides an overview of the Gemma model, some of the use cases for using it. Um, now I'm gonna jump ahead here and click on deploy. So what I want to do is take the Gemma model and deploy it in the context of Vertex AI. And you may ask, well, what's the point of taking an open model like this and deploying it in Vertex AI? Because maybe you wanna deploy it in your own hardware or some other kind of context because it is an open model. Well, the beauty of deploying it in Vertex AI is that it gives you a really easy way of exercising Gemma and getting a first taste of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So to start the deployment process, I will click on deploy. And here I can see I have a choice. I can deploy it to Vertex AI or to GKE. I'm going to deploy it to Vertex AI. I'm going to keep all of the defaults that are here, but I am going to select the smaller models. So there are instruction tune models for the 7 billion and 2 billion size of Gemma, as well as standard models for the 7 billion and 2 billion. So I'm going to select 2 billion instruction tuned. And this will, when I've deployed it, it will deploy to a Vertex AI endpoint, and then we will be able to test it once it's been deployed. So to kick off the deployment process, I'm going to click on deploy. And this will take several minutes, so we'll let it run and come back once it has been deployed. While we're waiting for Gemma to deploy in Vertex AI, let's take a look at the documentation that accompanies Gemma. So we go here into the documentation for Vertex AI, Generative AI, and there's a section here on using open models, and click on Use Gemma Open Models. And this has a description of all the details to go through. I'll put a link in the video notes to this particular example. And I wanna take a look at this example here, serving Gemma in Vertex AI. So this brings me to a sample notebook that has a complete example of uh, using Gemma in Vertex AI. I'm not going to actually use this notebook, but I am going to. I'm going to see if I can find an example of the format for making an initial call to Gemma from within the Vertex AI UI. So here is an example of the format that's expected. So what we'll do is we'll copy this and we can use it in the Vertex AI UI to do a quick test of Gemma once it's been deployed. Vertex AI has finished creating an endpoint for Gemma and I get this email and I'm gonna follow this link and it will take me back into Vertex AI. And I'm on the deploy and test page. So there's an endpoint to which Gemma has been deployed. And if I scroll down a little bit, then I'll see that I can actually use the widget here to test out my deployment of Gemma. And I'm gonna go back to the notebook here. So I'm going to copy and paste the JSON element from the notebook into the JSON request here. Now it's not accepting this as valid JSON as long as, as long as that surrounding frame is red, I know that the JSON is not valid. So I'm gonna to try to go through here and clean this up a little bit. So it still isn't quite happy yet. I'm going to 
See, you can just keep the defaults for those values. And this equal sign needs to go. And there we go. Once the JSON request is correct, then the frame turns blue and I can click on predict. And over here, I get a response. So the response to what is a car? The car is a powered vehicle propelled by an internal combustion engine. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. It could be uh, an electric engine. So still was able to get a response from Gemma from the 2 billion instruction tuned model. We've seen in this example how easy it is to deploy Gemma in the context of Vertex AI, and then from the deployment to exercise it within the context of Vertex AI. So give it a try. Gemma is hot off the press just this week, and it's a great opportunity to take advantage of an open model from Google that's based on the same technology as Gemini.